Hello all, magic and muggle alike. I, today, am going to discover, once and for all, what house I do doth belong to. It's always been Gryffindor, over and over and over, every time. I'm always the flippin' door of Griffins. And I just, you know, I gotta figure out if I am really a Gryffindor at heart or if another house calls my name in the wizarding world an experience by jk Rowling. let's find out shall we so from this web page we can see our house we will discover my wand and finally we will figure out my patronus Let's now discover my house. What do we got? Forest or river? Forest. What are you most looking forward to learning about ho Hogwarts? All about magical creatures and how to befriend and care for them. Flying on a broomstick. Being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. Secrets about the castle. Transfiguration. Hexes and jinxes, and every area of magic I can. Well, if you guys know me, and I think you do, it's every area of magic I can. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue the objects from the Trolls Club if you could? First student records, that's silly. First book of runes, then dragon pox, no. First runes, then students, then d no. First, a nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. Then, a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Finally, student records going back. 1,000 years. Let's go for this one. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. The mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that Sparkle as though containing ground diamond. A golden liquid so bright it hurts the eye, and which makes sunspots dance around the room. Sorry, I'd be a basic bitch. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? A barn owl, a harlequin toad, a ginger cat, a tawny owl, a dragon toad, a white cat. A natterjack toad, a common toad, a Siamese cat, snowy owl, tabby cat, a black cat, screech owl, brown owl, or a three toed tree toad. There's only one animal that is right for me my little black kitty, my little malakitty. How would you like to be known to history? The great. The wise, the bold, the good. You and two friends cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let you, all of you pass. Do you volunteer to fight? Duh. Attempt to confuse the troll and letting all three of you pass without fighting Suggests that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. Suggests drawing lots to decide who of you will fight. Hmm. No, no, see, the thing is, we can't do this because then the troll is just going to continue trolling. We gotta stop the troll in its tracks. No more bridges be garden. I will fight. Black or white? Like, I don't know. I'm for both. Can't we just... Get along.
Was anybody surprised? I wasn't. Oh, time to discover my wand. To ensure we find the perfect wand for you. It is very important that you answer the following questions honestly. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, tall, or short? If average male height is like 5'9", and I'm 5'7", then I am below average. Therefore, I am short. And your eyes. Before we go into this, I don't even know what my true eye colors are. It changes based on light or something. I don't know. Sometimes they're green, other times they're blue. So, we're gonna have to probably choose blue or green. Dark brown or black. Blue, gray, brown, hazel, blue gray, green, other, or blue green. Was the day on which you were born an even number, an odd number? It was an odd number. Do you most pride yourself on your determination? Actually, probably. Imagination, no. Zillions, no. Intelligence, I don't think I'm all that intelligent. Originality. I don't think I'm all that original. Optimism. I'm not really all that optimistic. Kindness. I can be kind, and I will be kind, but I don't necessarily feel pride about being kind. I just think it is important to be kind. Whether or not I feel good about the kindness I put out in the world doesn't matter. The fact is that I'm putting kindness into the world to make other people feel good. My feeling on the subject shouldn't mean squat. So I'm gonna have to go with determination, because I can be determined like a mofo. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle? or a head towards the forest. I really do like a good forest. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, heights, or small spaces? Ooh, well, out of all of these options, I guess the thing I fear the most would be isolation. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? A silver dagger. An ornate mirror. A glittering jewel. A bound scroll. That sounds, that sounds intriguing AF. A golden key. A dusty bottle. Or a black glove. What? Is this somebody's lost and found section? Somebody like coming through here and being like, my glove. Oh man, man oh man, finally I got my glove back. A dusty bottle. Why a dusty bottle? What would a dusty bottle in? What, kind, what material is this bottle made of? Is it metal? Is it wood? Is it glass? Does it have a cork on it? How dusty is it? What was the significance of saving it? Did it have a boat in it at one point in time? Is it cracked? Does it have a smell? Is there something in it? And if is there something in it, can you tell what that thing is? Intriguing. But I think if I saw the dusty bottle in my hands, most of these questions would be answered for me. So I would just assume that what is in it is some sort of uh, elixir or potion of some sort. And to that, I would say, huh, no. So that leaves me with Bound Scroll. 
because that is information. I would hope that a bound scroll would just be information about another's point of view, another's another another thought, more thoughts, more experiences. That's really the most valuable thing in that entire chest. My wand is a cypress wood with a uni unicorn hair cord. 10 inches in reasonably supple flexibility. Mmm. Nice. I don't even know what that means. The Patronus is a kind and positive force. A projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope. Happiness and the will to survive. Discover your patron. Shing. Relax. Think of your happiest memory. Dream. Dance. Discover. My Patronus, a falcon. So there we have it. I am of House Gryffindor. That my wand is cypress wood with a unicorn hair core, ten inches, and reasonable supple flexibility. And my Patronus is that of the Falcon. Man, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And to the freaking Lou.